like it when I choke you, don't you? Huh? Yeah, say my name. What? That's right, say my name. How you doing, huh? Hey, what, what are you doing? What's going on, guys? How long have yeah. you been here? <laughs> Just, uh... A uh, little bit too long. No, it's... I mean, we go back. It's... It's a long story, but hey, oh, you know you see what we did to Sage over there, man? We really gave it to him. Yeah, yeah, actually, nah. you really gave it to him. Dude, new meaning to the word wet willy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but last week, oh. the FO show, off the hook. Hook is here, it was way down the line, man. I mean, it's all right. Yeah, he, it's all right. he didn't see the, he didn't see the feet on the ropes, man. Ref I makes bad calls yeah. all the time. I Come called, on. I counted you out, so. Hey, That's right, Spades is Spades. Whatever, whatever. Tonight, tonight. We're fine. In right. DWI, they captured the flag last week, and we celebrated when after the show, even though we lost, crowbar to the face! Yeah. That's I was crowbar to the back of the head, what but I did, I did land in airbag. Airbag, <laughs> you got it. I mean, you, you got to be safe. Yeah, but we were at the bar, and uh, you should hear Troy, bad mouth the PC. He's all like, hoping over big boy stands up the ring, oh, I'll blow up when I get to my camp, right, and then Shatz, man, he created a drink just for Sage. It consisted of lemonade, and water, because he's a pussy. Say he doesn't drink, you know that. Was there a Twinkie in there? Oh, it chase it. better be. Yeah. <laughs> and then Sobu, you know what I heard about Sobu? His side boobs get more action than he does, man. He, he walks down the street, people are like, side boobs? He's like, oh, you want to go out with me? No, I just want to look at your side boobs, man. He's he's doomed. Uh, that's not too bad. Did you uh, you happen to hear about the uh, the sex tape? Which sex tape? You know, uh, Bianca and Sane? What? That sex tape? Yeah. He, what, what's it called? Fear the Dead. Fear the, Fear the dead. dead? What? Oh. You know what? <laughs> Sane couldn't get it up at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even with Ring of Mars, he can't get it hard. Man. Oh, man. Well, well, that, that reminds me, actually. Did you hear that there's one with uh, Dealer and Joey Staples out, too? Yeah, Dirty Dealer pretends that he's, you know, Dr. Dre, and Staples pretends he's Eminem. Oh. And then for the finish, they, uh, well, Staples takes it more in the face than, you know, 50 Cent. Oh, now you're sucking off Staples. Now you're sucking, sucking off Staples. Yes. All right, tonight, tonight, man, we got three on three, guy on guy action. It's going to be great in the ring. Camera's gonna be involved. This is my kind of thing. I got my new flag. I'm ready to go. You guys ready to go? I gotta tell you the story about an artificially inseminated sheep, but not really artificially. I'll tell you about it later, man. But we gotta go. Come on. How now, you do that? Oh, disgusting. <laughs> not bad. Entry first. It's a team of Christian Sane, Todd Sobel, and Joey Staples. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Sane Show. It is time for the main event of the evening. And speaking of it being The Sane Show, here comes a team headed up by the Booker tonight. Here he comes, Christian Sane. It will be Christian Sane, Todd Sokol, and Joey Staples. That's a slew of people coming from downstairs. Christian Sane mocking some fans who are out front here tonight. Saying, uh, well, not saying some very nice things about that fan, saying he couldn't even get into a free show. Yeah, Christian Zane probably banned him from the building. As I was saying, Christian Zane, Todd Sopel, and Joey Staples, along with the respective managers, Dirty Dealer and Bianca Wild, will be doing battle with the upcoming team, and we await their arrival. Joey Staples! You see that? You're next champion! You're, you ain't reached out over there! Next up with champion! Hey, we're up there! Next up with a WWE champion! Hey, hey, badass! Next up with a WWE champion! They don't know anybody! They don't know anybody! I can smell the pork in this arena! It smells like pork! I can smell the pork! Now they need a way to the ring! The team of Evo Freaking Flax! The WWE champion, Skylar Phoenix! And now here come the opponents in this contest, ladies and gentlemen, Freakin' Flax, Epo, and Skylar Phoenix. It was last week on Aftermath that Skylar Phoenix lost his number one contendership at Annihilation, and our main event was changed from Phoenix versus Phoenix to Phoenix versus Staples. Epo and Freakin' Flax making their way into the crowd as Skylar Phoenix makes his way to the ring trying to get some noise out of these fans. It's a hot night here at Murphy's Gym. I think all the energy's been sucked out of these people. It's been a little quiet here tonight at Murphy's Gym. But hey, when it's 95 degrees outside, you're bound and determined to get a little tired and a little sweaty and uh, just lacking energy. I mean, imagine the fans. You can only imagine how bad it is for the performers in the ring on this night. You got those hot, glaring lights above the ring and the fact that this place is like a greenhouse. Knock us all you want, but we wrestle underneath glass windows for the majority of the show. And uh, it's usually pretty hot. 
And here we go, this one's underway. Christian Zane making the mistake of going out to the floor, and he gets triple teamed out there by FO, Phoenix, and Flax. And now Joey Staples stopping Phoenix and Flax from entering the ring as FO coming in from behind. Double knock and knocker there as FO fools Staples and Sobel into thinking that he was sane. This one's gonna be hard to follow, ladies and gentlemen. It is nothing but tornado rules. Everybody is legal at one time. First pinfall wins this contest. So it ought to be interesting to see how this one pans out here. Six men all in the ring at one time. Two managers on the floor, one referee. We've got nine people out here right now. This almost looks like it could be the Lord of the Ring match. Double circus splash and a leg drop from Skylar Phoenix, FO, and freaking Flax. Oh, and here comes Christian Sane breaking up the pinfall there on FO. Sane goes into the ropes, he rolls back, he gets caught in the wheelbarrow. Freaking Flax off the ropes. Flax Master down over the shoulders of Skylar Phoenix, driving Christian Sane's face right into the canvas. We're gonna cover, we're gonna count in Sopels there to break up the pinfall. Hey, go back to Texas, jerk! Irish group reversal here by Sane's team. They all catch up those teams. Three belly to belly overhead suplexes by Christian Sane, Todd Sopel, and Joey Staples. Joey Staples going after Epo and Skylar Phoenix. I'm not carrying your ass. I'd rather bring Poom over you. Sopel and Staples holding the team together. They move and Sane takes out his own team. Sopel and Staples held Epo, Flax, and Phoenix together, but they all moved out of the way before Christian Sane could spring himself over the top rope and down to the floor. We've now got Zane, Sopel, and Phoenix recovering. What do we got here? Epo and Phoenix have Flax. Oh, they boot salt them out of their hands. Down to the floor. You might as well call that one a flax salt. Flax put a hand, excuse me, put a foot in each hand of Epo and Skylar Phoenix, and he was sent flying out to the floor on top of Todd Sopo, Christian Sane, and Joey Staples. And now Flax riding his little tricycle around, running over the hand of Joey Staples. Hit Sopo right in the kneecap. And again in the shins. Freaking Flax now, uh-oh. Oh, right into the crotch with the scooter. He's calling for one more. He's calling for it. Wait a second, paralyzer. Freaking Flax was going for yet another one and he got paralyzed for his efforts. Now Phoenix trying to hold that ball in the ring. Instead he gets pulled out to the floor and back broken by Sane and Sopel. Meanwhile Staples takes Phoenix out in the ring. Christian Sane grabbing a steel chair from the earlier steel chairs match and he is bringing it into the ring. He's risking this qualifying. Oh no he's not anymore. Oh no. Oh. Oh, God! That was not right. Drop kick to one side of the head, Yakuza kick to the other, and then a curb stomp, dropping Phoenix's face right down on the steel chair. Hey, it's all legal if you hit a chair with a body and not a, a person with a chair. These people want to hear me. Irish whip now, setting up for off the ropes. Who do we got here? Going for the scrap buster. He gets caught. Oh, and a slam there. Sidewalk in, catching the legs. Freaking Flax breaking up the pin on that one. Flax now in the corner. Could be looking for a hurricane Rana. He gets caught. He is being held up. What do we got here? Oh, God! What triple teamwork there, almost a modified murder bomb by Christian Sane on freaking Flax, and we only get two. Irish whip sends Skylar Phoenix to the far side. Here comes Sane, he gets, oh, super kick, and again. 
What do we got here? Kicks him in the stomach. And Skada! Phoenix ducks a clothesline, hits two super kicks, and then hits a skydive, only to have Dirty Dealer put Staples' foot on the rope. Thus breaking up that pinfall attempt there by Skylar Phoenix on his Annihilation 07 opponent. That opponent being Joey Staples. As it's been noted numerous times here when we got a lull in the action, next week we will not be bringing you any aftermath. We will be taking a week off for some renovations here to the building. But in two weeks, it will be Annihilation 2007. See it live on July 7th and see it on the website July 15th. All three men from each team brawling with the three from the other. Fo ducks a clothesline attempt from Christian Sane. Oh, we got a triple Bangkok. And triple strike punch. Dropping all three members of Christian Sane's team. Looks like we got ourselves a little confusion here. Hey, hey, hey. FO Phoenix and Flax trying to decide what to do next. What do we got here? We got a Bismarck and a tea bag, and then we get a drop kick to Christian Sane as Bianca Wild and Dirty Dealer look on in dismay from the floor as their team is being uh, pretty much handled right now by FO freaking Flax and Skylar Phoenix. Phoenix calling for Evo to go to one corner. Phoenix going to the other. Could we be about to see a double coast to coast here? Freaking Flax charges, drop kick to the crotch. Evo hits. Skylar Phoenix hits, and Christian Sane gets the front of all of it. Six different feet hitting him in various parts of the body. We got to cover. We got to count it. Sopels there to break up the pit. Phoenix now going after Sopel, punching him right in the side of the skull there. Don't let me They shot the Kmart. They shot the two good will. What do we got going on here? Epo pulling the fans. And somebody else kicked their asses, and that's exactly what they're doing. I guess they couldn't decide what to do, so they asked the fans, and they get to kick their asses, so they literally start kicking the asses of everybody on the opposing team. Hey, that's a team that gives what the fans want. Epo gets hit low by Joey Staples. Oh, and Skylar Phoenix dumped out to the floor. Head first on the floor at the hands of Joey Staples. Excuse me, Todd Sopo. Get my names confused here and there. Todd Sopo waiting behind on Epo. Epo about to execute a countdown. Sopo, E break. Right on to Epo. Here comes Sane off the ropes, and we get a flipping neck breaker. What airtime there for Christian Sane. Christian Sane now grabbing the steel chair. This is going to be good. And he is placing it down across the chest of Epo, but Sane gets hit in the face. Sopo jumps and only realizes in midair. And he lands with that centaur splash down across Christian Sane's back. Skylar Phoenix now battling it out with his annihilation opponent on the floor. Phoenix pulling the fans whether they want some more kicks, and he is just going to town. Skyler Phoenix with a shot right to the side of the head of Joey Staples. Dirty Dealer getting some Kung Fu defense. And things 
Things are turning into a brawl here on the floor. Epo just kicks Sopo right in the head, right into the ring post. Christian Sane trying to pull Epo down, but to no avail. What do we got here? Double crossbody block, taking out Christian Sane and Todd Sopo. Staples now sent into the ring by Skylar Phoenix. Phoenix now heading up to the top rope, up to the high rent district. What is he gonna do from there? Flying crossbody onto Staples. We get a cover, we get a count, and we only get two as Joey Staples kicks out. And we get ourselves a figure flex on the floor and a DDT in the ring. And FO looks for the circus, flat, uh, circus stretch on Todd Sopo, leg drop in the ring. Things are really starting to break down, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Phoenix and Staples in the ring. We've got Epo and Flax against Sane and Sopo on the floor. We get a cover in the ring, and we only get two as Joey Staples gets a shoulder up, and the Dirty Dealer is in the ring with a steel chair. And he's just standing there with the chair. Nobody seems to even notice that Dealer is there. They're all wrapped up in their battles. Another flying crossbody. We get a cover on the reverse. We get two, we only get two. Joey Staples using Skylar Phoenix's own momentum to turn that crossbody block around. Irish whip reversed, short arm. T-bone suplex by Skylar Phoenix. Wasn't the prettiest, but he got the job done. Phoenix now looking for the sky flow. Could it be? Wait a second, dealer. He gets caught by Skylar Phoenix. Phoenix kicked him in the stomach. He got caught up in Dealer's oversized ghetto shirt. You know those homie guys go. They like to wear big oversized shirts. And Skylar Phoenix got tripped up before annihilating payback with that steel chair. I guess with these tornado rules, everything is legal because Joey Staples just got hit in the ring with a steel chair. Hey, I wish somebody told me this was no disqualification. I heard tornado rules and everybody's legal. I didn't hear a joke about no DQ. This right here doesn't matter. Skylar Phoenix, he's not hitting anybody involved in this match with a steel chair, or in this case, choking the life out of him. But he did hit Staples, so... Hey, I guess this one's no disqualifications. All, all the better. And, oh, Staples gets that chair knocked right in the face by Skylar Phoenix. And Phoenix wrapping that chair around the ankle of the Dirty Dealer. We could be looking at a broken ankle for the Dirty Dealer. And that he and Bianca would have something in common. Her ankle's already split, has screws in it, and his ankle would have screws in it. Hey. All the more for the lowlifes in WAW to have in common, these lowlife managers. Skylar Phoenix just got blocked with that steel chair. Phoenix hit hard and he is down. After getting clocked in the head, checking to make sure he's not cracked wide open, he just got cracked across the spine with that steel chair. Didn't quite have all sorts of force on it. Phoenix got caught in the elbow on that one. He tried to block it. Oh, we get a close line from Southie. We get a cover, we get a count, we get three. Joey Staples continues his hot streak of victories over Skylar Phoenix. He's gotten the better of Phoenix almost every week. Since Legacy, he laid him out, he beat him by DQ, he beat him in absolute victory, and he just beat him again here tonight. And Joey Staples looks like he wants the mic and he's calling for his music to be cut.
she decided to hit me in the face with a chair. No, I still won, though. That's right, you did. Next week after, I beat him in this whole match. Absolute victory, and I won. And tonight, I won again. He decides to bring in the chair, takes out my manager with a chair, almost tries to take me out with a chair. So you like chairs, huh? You like weapons? You know what? Bring them. Bring them all. And Annihilation, we're gonna have bring the hardcore match. So that means you, me, anybody in this crowd can bring a weapon and it will be legal. That's right. That's hey, even right. you, Jungle Lizzle, you know what I'm talking about. That's right, well, Jungle Lizzle, my nuts! Shut up! I'll Jungle Lizzle, your nuts. Jungle, Jungle Lizzle sucks, you're just a fat Jungle Lizzle scrub. Wait. So you know what, Sky? You bring the championship! You bring your smelly ass! I'll bring the hardcore! Joey Staples takes his choice of match at Annihilation. It's going to be a bring the hardcore. He, Phoenix, and the fans all bring the weapons. Be sure to join us for Annihilation in two weeks. Thank you for joining us. We're out of time. Good night.